My favorite memory of Christmas is Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. You guys gave us the best ideas for some holiday themed video topics. So today we are going to talk about best Christmas memories. Best Christmas memories. So Adam will tell his favorite Christmas memory outside, right? Outside of prison. Outside. And I'll tell my favorite memory outside of prison because I've never been to prison. But on another video, we'll do our favorite memories for Adam when he was inside and for me while Adam was inside. So before we get started, we promised you a giveaway that just kind of came up an impromptu decision to do this on our last live video. People were talking about how Adam and I always promote the book, The Five Love Languages, as a tool that we used to basically not save our relationship because it was never in need of saving, but enhanced. enhanced our relationship. Good work. Definitely enhanced our relationship. And on there in the moment, I thought, well, let's do a giveaway. Let's buy a copy for one of our subscribers. And also if your loved one on the inside is able to get books shipped from Amazon or Barnes and Noble or something like that, we'll send a copy to your loved one as well, because it's important that both parties yeah. read the book if possible. And hopefully if... And and just to add this in, there is a men's edition yeah. and a women's edition. So... Oh, I think I just read a generic edition. Like on the back it says, are you happy? Only if your wife is. <laughs> Sorry, can you say that again? I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says, are you happy? Only if your wife is. I want a tattoo. This is the <laughs> men's edition, right? So, yeah, we want to make sure that you get the edition that's right for you. Absolutely. This is not sponsored. The person nope. who wrote this book has no idea we even exist. We just love this book. So here are the rules to enter the giveaway. Number one, first and foremost, you have to be subscribed to the Rowan Adam Plus and YouTube channel. So just hit subscribe below if you weren't already subscribed. You have to have your notifications on. So just go to that bell, click, click the bell, ding it or ring it, however you say it. And then Here's just an additional step that you don't have to do as part of the contest just to help you because a lot of people aren't getting notifications. When you click the bell, there'll be a drop down, and if you choose all, that should, should, not definitely, it's a YouTube thing, not us, but that should fix the problem if you want notifications when we post a new video or especially when we go live because a lot of people want to see us live and they're not getting that. So you have to be subscribed. You have to have your notifications on. Also, you have to follow Ro Clausen on Instagram. Share it to your Instagram stories and tag the at Ro Clausen Instagram account. This way it'll be easier for us to find you, to contact you, and to get your information to send this book out to you. So we will announce the winner when? Let's make it two weeks. We'll announce the winner in two weeks, so. Two weeks. We'll announce the winner December. 20th? 20th. Perfect. Good luck. And now on to the video. Do you want to start? Your favorite memory of a Christmas outside of prison. Sure. Like 700 years ago. Ouch. <laughs> God. Well, that was low. No, stop. All right. My favorite uh, Christmas memory. This goes way back. Unfortunately, as you guys already know, I spent way too many Christmases on the inside. So for me, I have to go all the way back to really when I was a, a small boy. And I gotta say, I was probably only maybe three or four years old. Still innocent at that point, right? And- Sort of? No, I was still pretty innocent, you know? And my favorite memory of Christmas is waking up Christmas morning, uh, I remember I was so excited the night before that I couldn't fall asleep. And I was in there tossing, turning, and both of my parents, my parents were still together. I know that they had stayed up pretty late and I could hear them and they kept telling me, just go to sleep, go to sleep. And eventually, I mean, I just, you know, as much as I wanted to stay up and wait for Santa Claus, you know what I mean? I wanted to see him, I wanted to catch him. I must have passed out at some point. And then I heard some noise, whatever it was, and I'm like, ah, that's it, he's here. Aww. 
and I spring out of bed. What time? Is this the middle of the night? No, this is, it's like morning at this point. Aww. Like uh, the sun's probably just coming up. And I hit the door and I come running down. You know, it's not a big house. It's a narrow hallway from the bedroom to come out into the living room. And as I hit the corner, I hear the door, the front door, and it slams shut. And I get around the corner and I'm like, did I, I missed him? My dad's like, you just missed him. Oh. My dad closed the door, right? And there was still, there was like a, 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 the cold air rushing in from the door just being open. Oh. He's like, he was right, you just missed him. And I ran over and I'm looking out, there was a picture window in the living room and I'm up on the couch, I'm looking. My dad's like, oh, you know, you were this close. Oh. And I, I really, I believed, I was like, man, I just missed Santa Claus. And that always stuck with me. Even as I got older, you know, I was like, man, how cool was that of my parents to stay up as late as they did you know, to hide all the gifts under the tree because none of that was there the night before. They said, you know, Santa Claus will be here. He's going to leave them all. So I, I must have heard my dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? And your my, dad was My poor dad probably, probably had to get up first thing in the morning because I was up so late. They probably fell asleep and just finished putting, you know, the, the presents, whatever, under the tree. And here I come and I almost, you know, catch him doing it. And he must have just been thinking quick and opened the door and slammed it. That's adorable. It was. It was pretty cool. And nowadays, they have all of these apps that you can use to basically bribe your kids to go to sleep and stuff. So they have Santa trackers. Ooh, and yeah. it's, yeah, so you'll see, like, I guess it's based off of where you, I'm assuming, where the child lives where you see where Santa is like right before you. So at Christmas Eve, we used it all the time with my nieces and nephews and they'll be like, oh my God, he's in Brazil. Oh, now he's in wherever. And then he's in New York City and you're like, you have 15 minutes, get to bed, get to bed, get to bed. And it really works. Or you have like phone calls with Santa and you tell him if you're a good boy or a bad boy or yeah. Phone calls, what do you mean? Like there's like automated messages. From Santa? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Automated messages from Santa. But the kids don't know they're automated. And they can get really, like, you plug in the child's name, if they're good or bad. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, yep. wow. Very cool. So my favorite memory, okay, I have two kind of. My favorite memories when I was younger are just like things that stick out in my mind. I think what I loved the most about Christmas when I was a little girl was Christmas Eve, my mother always had at our little house when we lived in New York and she had a kind of like half finished basement and so everyone would go down there, they set up this long table. But Christmas Eve, just as it was getting dark, Santa Claus would ride around on top of the fire truck. It was the fire, the, the, sure, yeah. what do you call them? The firemen, like the, the firefighters that worked in the town yep. and they would throw candy. So we would literally, like you'd hear it from a few streets away and we would come like tumbling down the stairs and wait and be like, Santa! It was so, it's like one of my favorite memories. And then around those same years, my mom always did Christmas Eve and my father's side of the family, his brother and his wife used to do Christmas day. And I just, there's like certain things, like certain smells that I smell now and it'll bring me right back to that. We had so much fun. Thanksgiving when we were cooking, I kind of got like a whiff of, a memory. You know how you have like that. Nostalgia, sure. What's that? Is this olfactory? Olfactory. Yeah, yeah. that olfactory uh, memory. So those were my really the things that stick out to me from when I was little. But my favorite Christmas, as a little bit older, was probably going back. It's got to be at least. It's probably like early two thousands, maybe like mid two thousands, where club music was like so hot, glow sticks, all that stuff. And maybe it wasn't that early because my youngest two sisters were still, I want to say in high, like later high school or maybe early college. So maybe it wasn't that long ago, but club music, house music, we were really into that. I don't know, I guess just like Jersey Shore type of situation. And we made jello shots and we were drinking the jello shots and we pushed the kitchen table out of the way and all 
all of our friends, I'm talking, I'm one of six, every single one of my siblings, we all had all of our friends over and we just put on the music and we danced and we were calling it Club Kitchen. We had so much fun. My parents were involved. My relatives were, that were over, because we flopped, flip flop back then after we had moved to New Jersey, then we took turns going to either that relative's house or they would come to our house. And this year it was our house. So they were kind of like, what is wrong with these people? What had happened to them after they moved to New Jersey? But everybody else had a blast. And what's funny is, well, not so funny, I guess it's kind of sad, but for the next three or four years, we would always refer back to that Christmas and be like, we're gonna do another Christmas like that. This is gonna be the year that we top that. We never could. Sounds like a Jersey Shore Christmas. Total Jersey Shore Christmas. Didn't even live at the Jersey Shore, Very Jersey. but it stuck out in my mind that we would just be like, remember Club Christmas Kitchen? And we're never able to recreate it. We would try, and you know when you just try, the memory is so, high in your head that we didn't even come close and we'd be like like fighting to try to be like you're having fun right this is fun and it was just never it never really added up to that but that was fun well we are gonna have plenty more christmases here N we're not pushing the cats out of the <clears throat> club no no do you have anything else to add about your favorite Christmas? No. Nope. Me neither. So there's just a cute short one because somebody had requested that. We're trying to do like Vlogmas videos here and there. We're gonna talk about how inmates celebrate Christmas. We'll talk about Adam on the inside during Christmas. And I should say the holidays, not just Christmas. I apologize. So we're just kind of dipping our feet in with this one doing some outside stuff because it was requested. If you have any questions or you want us to talk about any topics, holiday related or i guess not holiday related right any topics you want to hear yeah. put them in the comments below give us a video a thumbs up because it helps us so much in youtube we love you guys and actually i will link right now i have a an entire vlog miss playlist that i created over the past few years i did vlog miss every single day for a few december so i'll post it there so it's not covering adam's face we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one